Let's take a step back from Webtoon and look at a story that can be found somewhere else, namely Tappytoon. I have never visited a place before, but for today we will do it. The story's name is I'm Not That Kind of Talent. And, well, I don't know what you think when you see this sort of picture, but I had my first impression already after just seeing that. But if it was right, you can only find out by watching more of this video. At a first glance, it does look like your generic classic fantasy story, but then something fell into my eyes. That is the comedy tag. So I guess things aren't always what they appear to be at first. And the synopsis made it all even clearer. A talented individual who is respected by many and welcome anywhere. Not at all. A bloodthirsty battle fanatic who knows no defeat couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, Dean Hart is a sickly human who coughs up blood from receiving the tiniest bit of stress and gets sunburns from standing in the sun for 10 minutes. But due to an unfortunate misunderstanding, he becomes Demon Arut, the notorious Zero Corps commander of the Demon Army and the Demon King's Joker. Caught in a war between humans and demon kite, Dean must find a way to survive. I really like this concept for a comedy-centered story. Our protagonist really was just unlucky. At the wrong place at the wrong time. Truly unfortunate. However, because war was also mentioned, I want to predict that it won't be 100% misunderstanding type comedy, but also some serious discussions and action-filled battles. However, let me not yap any longer and get into my first impression of I'm not that kind of talent. Like always, I left a link to the story in the description for you to check it out. And now, let's go! The story starts with a classic introduction to a fantasy world. This world is one where there always will be a demon king and a hero that will go against each other, almost like a rule that cannot be broken. The demon king has 12 corps, which are basically his army. I wonder if we will still get a standard concept of the four heavenly demons as the top four corpse leaders, or if that trope maybe is just a bit too cliche at this point. Very quickly, we are getting told what the power ranking in this world looks like. Hero and Demon King at the top, and then the 12 corpse commanders. Only very rarely can humans be as strong as a corpse commander, from what I understand. However, in this ranking, there is also the mysterious Zero Corps Commander, who apparently is on the same level as the Demon King, but we as readers know better already. I am still questioning how big the comedy tag will really play a role in the story. While there are funny moments, the story takes itself serious and shows that there are things that are not just jokes. Like the synopsis said, Demon Arut is a human, and that isn't a secret inside of the Demon Realm either. If I had to make a guess halfway into chapter 1, the main character is the archetype of character we see in many stories for comedy relief. A few examples would be Usopp or Buggy from One Piece, Mr. Satan or Hercule, whatever you want to call him, from Dragon Ball, and also King from One Punch Man. But the protagonist is not only extremely lucky to have failed his way up to his current position, he also is the kind of guy who thinks that everyone is against him. There must be a tragic backstory here, I'm sure of it. Compared to everything else I read this year, it really feels a lot different. It really is just misunderstanding after misunderstanding, piling on top of each other, without any second stop. I'm not that kind of talent, so far has been more of a relaxed read, but it's a nice change of pace for me. For being mainly funny and relaxed, there still are many other points that make this a genuinely good story and not just stupid joke after joke. But the way it does that is different compared to all the other stories I talked about this year. Having a meeting to discuss the future in chapter 2 already is something I can see the brain rotten people dislike. The interactions between the other corpse commanders and the main character will probably be the most interesting and fun part of the story to me at least. So it's good that there are 12 different ones, be it by themselves or in different constellations. There will be a lot of variety in personalities to discover. I do however wonder what really happened when Arthur jumped in front of the hero. I mean, we really need an answer for why he even was on the battlefield to begin with. In these type of stories, I always wait for that one character that will discover the truth of the protagonist. It always happens, and I'm pretty certain about that, and I'm sure that this story won't be an exception. For Arut, who is in the demon realm, this could lead to a pretty fast death. But that's only going to happen if he doesn't have any secrets we are yet to discover as well. I'm saying this because obviously there is one. I did not expect it, after all there were no hints at all I think. Let me explain. 
alcohol changes the main character. It could either be a drunken master type of thing, or maybe something like a second personality coming out when he loses consciousness. The fact that Arut is frail still remains true even when he is drunk, but his post-alcohol version of him is just incredibly powerful as well, or at least isn't as cautious as the normal version of Arut. From everything we have seen so far, Arut doesn't know anything about these powers, and is it crazy of me to think that the hero and Arut might be the same person? Maybe that something like the spirit of the hero entered Arut after he died? Hmm, that could be an explanation for the split personality idea I had. The developments of the story make me believe that it will have a decent balance between comedy and action, so that both the smooth brain gang and normal people like most of us can enjoy it. In a way, I do think it is a bit odd that the protagonist doesn't believe that he has some sort of power, especially after multiple times where the demons saw him fight and gushed on and on about his might. It just feels a bit off that he doesn't believe them. Why would they lie to him? Why would they just play around with him like he is not that strong? After having finished reading the first few chapters of the story, I at first was very conflicted. The idea of the protagonist really being weak and just getting through everything by sheer stupid luck would have been great, but it seems like I'm not that kind of talent doesn't want to be a one-trick pony, and actually can also tell a bigger and deeper story. The surprise with the what I think to be a second personality took a bit out of my enjoyment, because post-alcohol Arut is a very basic, psychopathic, strong main character. Many people like that, but I just feel like this was really cool to see a different kind of character, but now that he is basically the same, just no split personalities. Perhaps when I continue to read after creating this video, the author will prove that it was a great decision, but as of right now, well, I guess it was questionable at best. I really like the interactions between the demons and our main character. The one with the Incubus Gardener was one that I really want to see more of in the future. Art style wise, this story also is high tier, but Tappy Toon's coin system, that makes it kind of hard to enjoy it to the fullest. Overall, I have to say that I really enjoyed I'm Not That Kind of Talent, but I would have preferred it to lean more on the misunderstanding comedy trope. However, despite that, it is still a story I would recommend to others. That also includes you, person watching this who is scratching their butt right now. I know you're out there. But let me get to the ranking section of these videos. I already said everything that you need to hear, so without further ado, on a scale from F to triple S, I am not that kind of talent received an A from me. To be more precise, it is an A that is better than the webtoon The Executioner, but also an A just below the webtoon Night of the Goblin. Maybe these comparisons helped some of you out. However, that marks the end of today's first impression. All that's left to be said is stay happy, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay cultured. Pyro, out. Bye!